Welcome back. It is National Small Business Week, and Fox Business is highlighting the success and challenges of the more than 33 million small businesses here in America. Joining me right now is one of them, New York City restaurateur and Lady Gaga's father, Joe Germanata, back with us. He's the owner of the Italian restaurant Joanne's Trattoria on the Upper West Side in New York. Joe, it's great to see you. Nice to see you. Thank again. you so much for being here. First, let me get your take on, on all the protesters. Are you seeing any impact in terms of the protesting and the, the crime in New York City? I, you know, I haven't seen any direct impact, all right, because, I mean, Columbia is pretty far away yeah. from my restaurant. Right. But, you know, I think it's generating a little bit of reluctance in the, um, in the consumers that, that are coming sense. to the city. You know, I mean, I can tell you this. I, I, where, where, where we're getting hurt most is the economy, all right? And the, the customers that were, used to come in once a week, now they come in once every three weeks. Mm hmm you know, you can see yesterday, little... yesterday we saw the employment cost index up. Uh, yeah. It was hotter than expected. It was up 1.2 percent. How are your labor costs? Uh, have you had to raise wages? We just uh, a, a little bit. I mean, the restaurant business is not as big a hit as as others. Um, they just changed the um, uh, the compensation laws for servers and waiters. They went from ten dollars an hour to ten sixty five an hour. You know, they lowered the tip credit. All right. So now. Now you have to pay them more, all right? And, you know, who gets hurt? Not so much the restaurant on that payroll, but the, the workers, you yeah. know, the salespeople. So how's business going? How would you assess things? I would say it's still about 30% off. I mean, it was, I mean, business was booming four years ago. I was, I was going to have the best year ever. And, uh, you know, it's been on a, a steady decline since this new administration and, and the mayor and, you know, the crime and the newcomers and... You know, just every time you turn around, there's a gotcha there. Yeah, and, and, and in terms of regulation, I mean, there's, there's also that. In terms of new rules um, coming from this administration as well, big impact? Well, yeah, I mean, everybody seems to, I, the most recent one, I got a, a, a requirement that I had to register my, my grill, right, <laughs> but into the city. It's the first time I've seen it. I've been there 14 years. Wow. And I got a notice. Now there's... Now there's a lawyer running around handing out ADA compliant um, um, complaints, all right? So they're suing, you know, small business owners. I mean, and like a place like mine, it's 100 years old, Yeah. right? It's two steps down, right? The doorway isn't wide enough for, for a wheelchair, all right? The bathrooms are about two by two. I can barely turn around in them, right? And they want me to build all this, you know, they want me to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars building all this ADA compliance. Sure, sure. And then this is on top of the cost of inflation, right? I mean, your costs are up. Uh, the PPI has been up just like the CPI has been up. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like inflation is, is re-accelerating? You know, I, that's, a, that's a better question for, you know, one of the financial analysts. Um, is it accelerating? I, you know, I, I don't know. It's not going down. I, guess, I can say that. Okay. All right. Let me, let me go back to I this. I will say this, though. Yes, please. There's a lot more credit card business than I've seen in a long time. All right. It used to be, you know, used to be about 30% cash. Yeah. And now it's, you know, it's probably 10% cash. So they're coming in less. They're coming in more infrequently. Right. Um, your costs are up. You've got new regulations. You've got to just register your grill. Right. Um, and you've got people using credit cards more often. Yeah. So these are all signs of an economy that, that is slowing. It's, and on we know, a, it's on a downhill climb. Yeah. And we just saw the first quarter was 1.6 percent growth. But in terms of what's going on on the streets outside of the restaurant, more than 100 people were arrested at Columbia uh, and the City College of New York last night after the anti-Israel protests across the country. The NYPD cleared out Columbia University's Hamilton Hall. It was taken over by demonstrators just over 24 hours ago. New York City Mayor Eric Adams and the NYPD commissioner are expected to brief the city this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. You mentioned a moment ago newcomers. These are illegal migrants. Yeah. What's the impact? Well, the impact is, I mean, there, there's probably enough scooters and bicycles on the sidewalk to, to you know, expand your delivery zone to, to Connecticut. <laughs> it's, just, it's just they're everywhere. Yeah. You know, and they're buzzing around. You have to look both ways when you're walking down the street because they're, most of the time they're, they're riding in both directions. Yeah. I mean, the city's become unsafe, all right, in a couple of different ways. Not just crime, okay, but now there's, there's um, chaos. Why do you think it's become so unsafe? Well, I, I really th think I've been in the stores, okay, and to see the stores yeah. with everything locked up, 
And then there's the, what's been so unsafe is yeah. a lot of people running around. All right, just hanging out on corners, loitering. Well, don't forget, there were fi there were at least five muggings in Central Park yeah. just in the last week. Yes. The NYPD increased their patrols and the camera surveillance in the park in response. 18 robberies in Central Park reported so far this year, compared to just four the same time last year, a 350% increase year over year. Right. Uh, you know, we had uh, Ray Kelly on yesterday. He said the city's not safe, exactly what you just said, former commissioner I, of the I, NYPD. I just got uh, attacked outside of my church. You were attacked. I was attacked. What happened? It was 7.30 in the morning, and some, some, you know, I don't know whether he was homeless. He, he was a little disturbed, let's say that. Did you give him money? No. no. So what did you do when you got a You know, and I'm very generous. I usually give away 20 bucks a day. Yeah. All right? <laughs> so, but, but the... Uh, so what did you do? How were you attacked? I, he came after me. First, he pushed the pastor of the church. We were standing out in front. And then he, he came down the stairs and coming after me. Unbelievable. I can't tell you what I did to him. <laughs> Joe, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Joe Germanata joining us this morning. I'm going to come by Joanne <laughs> Trattoria soon. Joe Germanata, thank you. Yeah.